Warmer weather is finally here. It's time to celebrate brighter days ahead. Do you plan on popping some rosé? Well, why don't you instead reach for something different? Here's our partytologist and friend uh, with more on what you should be drinking this spring. Take a look. Nancy, it is a beautiful spring day, but I am not drinking rosé. Cheers to you. We are here to talk about alternatives for spring, and let's dive right into some of your favorite choices. Let's do a chillable red. Reds are chillables, Christine, but we don't think about that very often. So the first one I've got up is from your home country, Italy, and it's a Val Policella. <laughs> So this is the time of year you bring out your fun, stemless wine glasses and enjoy just a rustic red. Um, three things you want to look around when you uh, buy a red wine to chill. The first thing is low tannin, Christine. Yeah. You know, tannin is what goes, is on your front lip that makes you feel like you need to brush it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you don't want many tannins in your chilled wine. And a good way to see whether it's got tannin or not is to look through it. And if you can read through the wine, it's probably low tannin. Excellent. I never knew that. Yes. So low tannin, great acidity. You want good acidity, not flabby wine. So good acidity means that it's going to go great with food. Okay. And then last but not least, you want bright fruit flavors because those bright fruit flavors are what we call fruit forward in wine yeah. words, um, means that it's going to hold that fruit when it gets a little bit of chill. It's bright fruit flavors, kind of snappy in your glass. So this is a great one for a chill. About 50 to 55 degrees degrees, which Christine, that means that you need to pop it in the fridge for about 45 minutes if you're just pulling it off your wine rack, or if you've got it in your fridge, you need to pull it out about an hour ahead of time. Just needs to be kind of chilly on the bottle. I think my wine refrigerator settings are a little off, so we got to make sure that uh, on these warm days, uh, nothing's going to be better than having this just the perfect temperature. And next up, Nancy, I know is one of your favorite, a Beaujolais. I hope I am saying that okay. <laughs> oh, very cute. I love that. So Beaujolais is from the area in France, and I'm going to show it to you right here. It's from the area in France that is right above Lyon. And that's the food capital of France. And so this wine goes really great with food. It's a light red. It's made with the Gamay grape. And what you're looking for, Christine, is something that says Beaujolais or Beaujolais Village or a village name on there, like Morgan or Cherub. And this sounds really, really high end and expensive, but Christine, you can buy these for less than $30 a bottle. So they are dark. good. Yes, they are really good. And um, Beaujolais is also made with a process that sounds, again, very wine snobby, but it's not. It's called carbonic maceration, which just means it's a natural wine. You've been hearing a lot about natural wines. Yeah. This one is a natural wine. And so you're going to get lots of fruit. Did you love the fruit? It's like a fruit salad in your glass. It is, Nancy, but I almost felt like... Uh, the Zanato had a little bit more of that fruit flavor than this one. This one tastes almost a little crisper to me, if that's it's the correct word. <laughs> sure. Um, it's got really good acidity, Christine, which means that it's going to go great with food. So your burger, any kind of light um, fare like salads or veggies, a, a barbecued chicken goes great with Be Beaujolais. So when Jim gets out on the grill, you can bring out a, a bottle of chilled Beaujolais and y'all can enjoy red with your grilled food instead of just white or rosé. Oh, I love it. Nancy, I've got, I, I made my little charcuterie. I feel like I need to invite the neighbors over. Neighbors, come on. Yay. Oh, how fun are you? I love Thank that. So Italy and Here's France, chillable reds, yay. I ended up having some by myself. It's fine. For more information about those wines, simply visit Nancy at tasteandsavor.com.